vision. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alexton, and welcome back everybody to The Walking Dead. Guys, this is a different type of Walking Dead. Now, I have two series that involve The Walking Dead, and that is that this is the Survival Series. Now, the Survival Series is based off of just me surviving, while the Server Series of The Walking Dead is based off a multiplayer uh, platform. So that means that I can interact on the multiplayer pl platform, while this one is just me surviving, and no one can really join this because it's hosted from my computer only so that's why I've done this in the past and I really want to get back at it because it was really fun recording and it's almost like normal Minecraft survival but with a twist a lot of zombies a lot of cool mods and it's really I think it's a really cool series that I want to give it a shot one more time and I don't know what episode this is uh, but whatever episode it is and you guys want to catch up to what happened on this series you guys can go check out my playlist there's a Walking Dead survival series so you guys can catch up on that watch all the series or all the episodes I mean and then from there you can catch up to this one and you'll really have a strong idea of how this evolved it's a really cool story and I think you guys will really enjoy it so um, because some of you guys are new and a lot of you may be new as well I'm gonna quickly show you guys how this place looks and what is the functioning place of this like where does all the stuff happen so I'm gonna start off with the basement of our home uh, now this is gonna be I guess our farm because we don't really have a lot of food except 60 steak at, uh, 60 pork chops and the rest is just wheat so we have to work on that and keep on stocking up and working here also this is where I get my water this is my main water source here where I get to drink water because at the top right there is a water level blood level and humanity level so I have to make sure I keep hydrated or else I will die out which is not a good thing and uh, now as we go to the top here you guys will see that there is another room now there's really no use to this room here it could just be a nice area to, to keep guard I guess and just to have you know a panoramic view of what's going on and what places we can check out and also if we go to the top in the top here <laughs> let's go check it out uh, there's nothing much as well just a staircase going downwards and you just get a higher view and there's also a few things I want to mention about this mod now this is the uh, pre-release of 1.9.2 now this has been an update and that's kind of the main reason why I postponed the survival series yes it's been at least least a good solid maybe two months and uh, that's because they've been doing so many updates that it really has been hectic and I couldn't really even get on the server or the world I mean and actually record because it would be lagging out and having issues but it looks like they really settled down and fixed all the bugs and it should be all good to go one of the really cool things that I like so far that they did was for the weapons as you can see I am holding a gun in my hand uh, before they used to not move so it used to be like the pickaxe where just stay in one position I guess but now the guns actually move while you're running. So it looks like you're in a running position and the gun is moving along with you. And also if you aim and you run, it also, I guess, moves to the side and it keeps a nice a nice motion, which really makes it feel like you're actually holding a gun. And I really like that extra feature they did. And another thing that they have done is actually changed up the camo gear, which is really cool. I'm really liking that a lot because it does have, I guess it looks like a farm, farmer uh, type of clothing, which is kind of cool because it does match the locations, uh, the location that we are in at the moment. And also, I do have my chicken coop right here, uh, but honestly, it's it's not doing so good. We only have three chickens, but the more eggs we get, the better, and hopefully we'll get a good amount of sustained food. Right now, we have only have one egg. Hopefully, they you know give us some more eggs. And uh, also, in the front over here uh, is our main gate, our main entrance and exit point. Now, this is going to be a very useful thing because we can exit this place and enter this place very safely and uh, it's a good idea that I did I don't know what episode but you guys can just catch along on watching those playlists and it's really cool because it allows me to go explore and check out the world around us and also this little prison it's kind of like a prison guard uh, base protection area and I actually built this as well so all this you see here is built by me except this building and that building now the building over here that you guys are looking at right now is actually the prison now I if you guys don't know the Walking Dead AMC TV series uh, well when I was watching that and I still am it's coming back in October which I'm really excited about guys I can't wait for that uh, let me just kill this zombie here and um, so this is gonna be the prison so I wanted to I guess get a replica of the prison that the uh, the Walking Dead from the TV series was using now I know it does not look anything alike but it is a cool prison and I like how I formed it I'll show you the upstairs and this is a very modified prison uh, so over here I have the gun room as you can see I have my stored guns and everything is here including some ammo 
Alrighty guys, so I just wanted to clear the weather out because I do not like when it rains because it really does mess up with the, I guess, the quality of the video. So as I mentioned, this is the gun room where we store all our ammo and all our weapons. Now before I used to have a lot more, but because of the update, they actually have removed a few guns and replaced it. So these are the only two guns I have at the moment, so that does mean we're going to have to go search for some more guns in some places. And they also did uh, upgrade the ammo kit. So let me see if, okay, sweet, so we do have ammo for this weapon. So now we can actually reload by pressing R, I believe, uh, on the gun. So if we press R, there we go. So we just reloaded, and as you just heard, that gun effect sound with the reloading is really cool. They definitely improved that, which is something awesome. And now this room over here is just like a little, like, uh, like you know, like a security room. Like, you can just store your things, you know, cook some food maybe, and get everything. Oh, that's a weird lag. I don't know what happened there. That's, that's, I don't know what's going on there, but that's weird. That's not normal. And that's not normal either. But I don't know what's the case with that, to be honest. But uh, we'll probably figure it out. It's probably still in the update. Again, this is a pre-release. So I'm really not sure. I'm pretty sure it's not my texture pack. Uh, but the thing is, they have a custom texture pack for this. So whenever you log on to this uh, survival pre-release, it uses its own texture pack. You can't really switch it or anything. So that's maybe why. But they'll fix it. Don't worry about it. And upstairs, guys, is the prison room. As you can see, if I go inside, I actually built these prisons. Uh, they're pretty cool. It's actually really awesome. And uh, just like a little bunk here and then a little table. Um, I did try to put zombies in here, believe it or not. But that was a really difficult process. Uh, they kept on despawning. So yes, I've tried and it did not work out so well. But again, I'm going to work hard and try to get that fixed as soon as possible. And maybe we can find a way to keep them spawned in that area. And also, this is going to be the tree forest area that we can get our lumber from. Because as you can see, there's not really many trees only in the far distance over there and a little bit over there. That's pretty cool. There's a snow biome there. We can go check that out eventually. Uh, but yeah, guys, that was the tour around our base. That's kind of important. I wanted to mention it and show you guys so you guys can get, you know, the slightest idea of what this place looks like. So now I'm going to be talking about what this series is going to have to offer because this episode is really going to be a very informative episode where I can just talk to you guys and let you guys know what this series is going to offer you guys. So it's going to be a lot of zombie killing and uh, it's going to be very cool. As you can see on the top right corner, uh, it says zombies killed. I killed 177 total. Um, and I probably would have more if this pre-release uh, or the server or, or this world update would not have been causing so much postponage, but it is what it is. I cannot argue about it. So we're going to go off and we're going to go and try to loot out some places. Now, I want to go over in that direction because I feel like there could be some cool things. So the only dangerous thing right now is that we do not have a suppressed gun. Now, you need to have a suppressed gun so that the zombies have a less of a chance of hearing your gunshots. And that's why, oh, I'm also going to get the Magnum uh, more loading kits here. Let's continue doing that. But as you can see, there's no suppressor. So that's going to be an issue. So we have to go out and continue searching this area. And also, guys, in the comment sections, if you guys do watch The Walking Dead, it would be pretty awesome if you guys can leave a few comments about what I should build in the next episode. Now, I want this series to kind of be built around The Walking Dead. So from you guys, if you guys are you know experts and you guys like watching The Walking Dead, you guys can actually leave me a few comments on builds I should do. So for example, um, I don't know what season it was, but there was a gas station um, that was covered in vines and everything. So what we could do is we could attempt on building a gas station nearby and having a pathway connecting towards it and make it look abandoned. I mean, I feel like that's a really cool thing to do because it's almost like we're going to be building our own town, but it's going to be an abandoned town. Now, i never seen that done before, so I want to know what you guys think about it. I'm honestly excited to give it a shot, and I hope you guys are too. So we're going to go off and over there. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. That's like an abandoned uh, pathway. That's pretty awesome. We're going to go check it out. And also, the survival series, or the server series, is going to be uploading as well soon after this one. I just wanted to upload this so you guys can get a hang of what is going on. So this looks quite interesting, actually. This is an interesting type of uh, build here. It's, it's like a biome dash destroyed area. So I guess while we're at it, I do not have a pickaxe, but I do need some wood. So we could try and break some wood, and then from there we'll get ourselves... Uh, uh, I guess an axe I mean and then we should be good to go but I want to go loot out some places because we do need a good amount of um, I guess resources and weapons we should go check out what's going on over there we got to watch out so I'll show you guys how the gun works because I guess you guys are all dying to see how it works so oh whoa, whoa whoa what's going on 
Alright guys, so as I just mentioned, again, this is a pre-release, so I just had to reset this this world because something happened. But we're going to start shooting some people, and I do not have any ammo. What's going on here? Um, I thought we did reload. Oh, we may not have any more magnum clips. Hold up. Let me, let me figure this out here. Uh, if we do this, we do not have any more. Let me try to reload. There we go. I guess we have to continue reloading until we have enough ammo. Um, and it looks like the ammo is not working on this gun. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we're not going to let that slip away, so we're going to go look around here and continue doing what we wanted to do, and that's to try to find some places to get ourselves some gear because we're really low on that. So we're going to let these zombies follow us. I guess they can do that if they want to. I'm not going to let them, uh, you know, just walk around and do nothing. <laughs> they can chase me all they want. Um, so I'm going to go in this little tower here. I'm not sure if it's been looted out, but if it has, um, that will be a little bit bad. Okay, so it looks like it's kind of covered in sand. Um, now if I have any blocks on me, that would be pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly get a sand block and Then this sand block will be used to block up almost like a barricade for this this little I guess this tower right here So we're gonna have to go in really quickly and get ourselves a way in and if we could do that right now That would be pretty awesome and close it. There we go So now we just got ourselves inside this little barricaded area and a lot of the times there we go So what is this? We got a rotten orange. I don't know how good that is. That's a new update. That's pretty cool to see. So that's one of the new updates. There's a uh, rotten orange, which is interesting how they came up with it. And then we have here a diamond kit, which is sweet beans. That's also a new update, and that's a very good saturation for us. And then we got here another 44 magnum. Now, this may have a reloaded gun. This may be reloaded. So uh, let's see if it does. Actually, it's still empty. That is a really annoying thing now, actually. Now, this just reloaded. And for some reason, it still doesn't shoot. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to really continue to research. Now, I'm not so sure if this gun is having, uh, I guess, some issues with the uh, pre-release. Uh, but I know for sure that other guns are going to work. So don't worry about it, guys. Don't be so let down. Once we get back to the base, we'll give it a shot again. Now, we came from this direction over there. So I want to go ahead over there and see what we got at that base. So we're going to go in towards that direction and clear out that base. Hopefully we can find some more loots. We did find a good amount actually just now. I mean, we did find some ammo. Um, we did find some guns, but oof, that's not going to be enough. We need to get ourselves some food, which we did find. But we need to get ourselves some health gear, I guess, some, some type of medical package. And I think that's going to be important to get that done in this episode so that in the next episode we can actually try and build our... Look at all those zombies. We can try to build ourselves, I mean, a... Um, a nice little town so I want to try to do that so if you guys in the comment sections can give me a few ideas of what to build I really like the idea of building that abandoned gas station that was also on the AMC TV series so you guys let me know what you guys think about that so I'm gonna quickly kill this zombie off here and there's a lot of them actually around here so we have to really be careful what we do because this area here if I'm not mistaken has the most uh, doorways so I have to somehow block it off and somehow not get attacked by any zombies. So we're going to quickly get this. Ooh, slight peaches, something new. Energy drink, never seen these before. Rusty pipe, that's going to be good because I don't want to ruin this pickaxe anymore. Baseball bat, these are all good things to have on us right now. Uh, we got here a nightstick, which is okay. It doesn't do much damage. Uh, what do we got here? We got an empty juice pouch. We don't need that. Uh, we got a crowbar, which does a good amount of damage. That's awesome. Good thing we got that, actually. And then we're going to go to the top here and see if there's anything. Yes, diamond level. And we got ourselves a green tactical vest. Now this looks awesome. I have no idea how to use this, but it says something here. Uh, store items. So we can actually store items in this. So if you press G, I believe, this is really cool. Now this is where things get exciting, guys. So we have our uh, tactical vest on the front, as you can see right here. So it's almost like a police gear. And after that, looks like we can add other types of things. So if we open it, we can actually store some items in here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to store a few of these items. And that is pretty awesome. I have to admit myself, that's pretty cool. And I believe if I press F5, you see the tactical vest on us. And it's also if I press G, we can open that tactical vest and have our items in here. So that's something really cool, and I'm really happy they did that type of update because they have now backpacks. And backpacks is something that was truly needed, and honestly, because a lot of your items in the inventory would get full, and this is just one of those benefits that I'm really happy about. 
and that is pretty cool to see. Now we're gonna go to this one place here, and then after that we may call this an end um, to this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, but um, honestly, let me know in the comment sections, and show me your support in the like section. That would mean a lot, trust me guys. So uh, we're gonna go in here now. Whoa, this place is full of zombies. We can take some pumpkins. Oh, that's something dangerous right there. All right, so we got a few uh, issues. Okay, that's a lot of zombies. We have a few little people on our back here, but it's okay because we're gonna parkour around and they most likely won't get us in time. So we're gonna get another tactical vest. We're gonna get some, you know, there we go, blood bag. We're gonna keep on going around here as fast as possible. Sledgehammer. All right, this is a very intense mission. It's turning dark. We got more ammo, which is needed. And we have ourselves another rotten uh, uh, orange, which is pretty good. Blood bag. Oh, now it's raining. Well, it's okay because it's the end of the episode almost. So we'll definitely go and check out more things. So we got another tactical vest. All right, guys. So as you can see, we did a good amount of things. Now we're going to go that way in the next episode. That's our home. But we're going to go check out some more places here because it looks like there's some more openings and more buildings along the lines. So that's what we're going to do in the next episode. Uh, but I most likely will start a build and that will probably be the gas station. If you guys want to see that, you guys can let me know in the comment sections. That would mean a lot, guys. If you have other ideas of what I should build, uh, let me know. And we're going to try to make a nice community town, abandoned town, post-apocalyptic town in our base area. And it's going to be really interesting to see how that goes. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Alexton, and stay foxy.